Today I want to tell you about a screen recording tool that is freaking awesome. This thing is mind-blowing in what it can do. So if you are somebody that frequently creates screen recording videos, particularly if they are relatively complex and involve clicks while you're recording the video, i.e. you're making clicks as part of the recording process, or if you are somebody that needs to share videos, screen recording videos with other users, whether they're team members or external users or clients, and you need to be able to highlight particular parts of the video and comment on them and allow others to reply to those comments, it's also going to be amazing for you. And finally, if you are somebody like me that takes a million goes to get a video right without saying something stupid, and you want to speed up the whole video recording, creation, and editing process, then this app is also going to be pretty amazing for you. So the app I am talking about is called Komodo Dex, and they have a web app and a Mac app, and they work very, very differently from each other. So I'm trying to keep this video to five minutes. I probably will fail horribly, but let's dive right in and try and keep this video as fast and effective as possible. Let's go. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you how to sign up for Komodo Dex or how to log in. I'm just gonna assume that you guys are smart enough to figure that out for yourself. While I remember there is an AppSumo deal, lifetime deal going on Komodo Dex at the moment. It's I think $19 US for the lowest tier. So you wanna jump on that, it's a huge saving. So I've already installed the, set up my account and installed the Komodo Dex Chrome extension. I'm in Chrome now, I'm just looking at the homepage of my website and I am going to simply click on the Komodo Dex browser icon, the little green square with a white K inside it in my Chrome menu bar and that is going to open in a second. It's going to open the options down here on the left hand side. Now normally uh, this little window here is get, would show my smiling talking face. However, because I'm already using my camera to record a video of this process, it's kind of messing with the video settings. But normally it would show you your, your webcam, your face there. You can turn that off by the way, uh, or on. Um, now we've got three options. We can go recording only, which is video and audio only. We can go recording plus guide, which is going to not only record the video and the audio, but it's gonna create a guide showing all of the clicks I've made on my screen during the recording, or I could go guide only. So for this one, I'm gonna go recording plus guide, click the little green button, choose either entire screen window or Chrome tab, click share. It's gonna give me a countdown timer, three, two, one. Boom, we're now recording, and I am simply going to make a few mouse clicks. Let's see what we can do here. I won't to put too much more information in because I'm going to try and keep this video under five minutes. Okay, I am now going to stop this recording and it is going to automatically open the recording plus guide in my Komodo Dex account. So stopping now. Okay, so when I click stop recording, it automatically opens the recording with the title of it in my Komodo Dex account. I've accidentally skipped past that step. So normally you would see a little tab in the middle of your screen with a default name given to your recording. And I think it defaults to something that's incredibly promotional about Komodo Dex. Um, so yes, in this case, it has actually given the video, automatically given the video a name based upon the web page that I was on, which was my own website. And as we see, we've got a video here, which is our screen recording, which we can just hit play on. Boom. Um, now, interestingly, we've got these little blue bars here. And if we hover over them, we'll see a, a timeline a mark of where that click was created in the video, how many minutes and seconds. And it's also going to have a title. And if I click on any of these, it will take me, well, as it would do with any other part of the video, it's going to take me exactly to that click where I made a mouse click. Um, so in this case, for example, it is click on coaching and consulting. And if I just hit play, mouse clicks. 
you can see that it's playing the video from just before I clicked on the coaching and consulting uh, call to action. And then we've got another one here, click on schedule your free consultation. So it is showing me the mouse clicks that I made during the recording of the video. It's giving them a title, it's showing me at what time timeline point in the video that I clicked on those. Um, and also over here on the right hand side, we're also seeing our clicks uh, as numbered steps with the time they happened at, a text description that's created by default, and a zoomed in screenshot showing me the actual click. So this one, I clicked on coaching and consulting, boom. And there we go. The other thing that's really cool, we've got this comment feature and you can go to anywhere in the video and you can click on the comment button and you can either just click green continue to add your comment or if you're not quite in the right place, you can use the one second, plus one second or minus one second buttons to sort of fast forward your way step by step through the video to the point where you want to add that comment. So let's say I just want to add the comment there, boom. Boom. And then what will happen is when the user plays the video, uh, it will show the comment at that part of the video. So if I scroll back a bit, the comment disappears. And then you see that test comment appears. We're now recording and I am That test comment appears when we get to the right stage in the video. I think it was, yeah, there we go. It's around about there. Um, so there you have it. And if you want to share this recording and guide, you can click on the copy link button. And if you want to share recording and guide, choose the recording drop down option and it will share the guide as well. If you only want to share the guide, obviously just click the guide. Um, and that's it. You can share the link with anybody. They don't have to be an internal user or a paid user in your account. You can share it with anybody and they can comment, they can watch the video, they can see the guide if you've recorded a guide and they can use the, the clicks to navigate through the video and, and see what you're trying to share with them. Right, so that's the web app. Now let's go and check out the Mac app because it works completely differently. Hopefully we can still make five minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna open the Mac app. Um, I have already opened the application, which is why I'm seeing a big K in my Mac's menu bar. And to record using the Mac app, actually let's just go to a different, let's go to a different page, just so the background's more distinct. So I'm just gonna click on this. It's gonna ask me to choose my microphone and my camera. Uh, and I am gonna start recording recording actually one of yeah okay start recording now the only thing is it's not showing me my webcam because I'm already using my webcam to record the screen as I'm recording with the Mac app so you would normally see your embedded smiling face there um, if you chose to embed your webcam um, so anyway, I'm just going to record a really short video because all I want to do is I want to capture some video with me speaking so that we can then view the transcription and the editing process in the Mac app. So let us go. Okay, so Coolio, we are looking at the Mac app and this is what we've just recorded and we can hit, we can just either hit the space bar to play or we can click on the play button in the window in the video window the only thing is it's not showing me my webcam because I'm okay so the cool features with this is that it allows you to re-record bits of your video, either re-record the audio only or record the audio and video just to replace that part of the video. So all you do is you highlight the text you want to replace and you go, let's re-record the audio. Very slow. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am a big idiot. Okay, let's play it and see what it's done. I'm already... To record. 
record this. <laughs> so if you want to record chicken noises, very handy. Um, and you can do the same with video. Let's just replace some video as well. And we'll go re-record video. Now again, the web app, the uh, the sorry, the web camera is not working because I'm already using it to record this video. But we'll just hit stop on that. Okay, so now if we we can just and also we can click on the part of the transcription to navigate to there. Because all I want to do is I want now again the web app, the uh, the sorry, the web. Okay, I should have, what I should have done is recorded a different bit of video. Okay, so let's just record a different screen. Record video. Okay, and that's about all we need. So now I've recorded a different screen, so we should see a visual difference and it should have the audio of me speaking as well. All I want to do is I want... Okay, and that's about all we need. Uh, the... So as you can see, um, I you can replace text, sorry, not text, you can replace audio only, you can replace audio and video does make video editing way easier. It's going to save you a ton of time. The only thing, as far as I can tell, is you can't edit the transcription, and the transcription isn't always very accurate in my experience. So then you're in the situation that, sure, you could re-record the video and audio, but you're still hoping or dependent on the AI correctly transcribing the re-recorded video and audio. If it if it transcribed it incorrectly the first time and you your audio is exactly the same or very similar, you're saying the same words, chances are it's gonna transcribe it incorrectly the second time as well. But the this is a very new app, the Mac app, so I think they are gonna be improving it rapidly, I expect. So do stay tuned, because um, I think it's got a lot of potential. And there you have it folks, that is the Mac app and the web app for Komodo Dex amazing amazing tools particularly the web app for me i'm not really using the mac app because of the transcription so far in my experience not being very accurate but i think it's going to improve rapidly and it's going to be a really super useful tool in the near future hope you found this video helpful if you did please subscribe and yeah see you soon